finished. You just finished. You you had a late start and late finish of one festival, and you're starting the new one, new edition soon. Yes, you see, because of pandemic, yeah, we had to 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 reschedule everything. Uh, other two times, first uh, we we created uh, the missing concerts in September, October, then. September started again some uh, uh, difficult times after summer and we had to reschedule for all the way to December. So this festival, which was the seventh edition, is finished for us in middle of December instead of middle of April. So everything is what eight months late. And the next festival we, we are planning to still go on uh, on the end of March on the 20, 25. 25 of March start uh, the eighth edition. So I hope everything we have, uh, everything will be, you know, as as we plan, as we schedule it. But again, we never know. Sometimes the, the horizon of planning is uh, about two days, two weeks. Uh, but uh, I think if we have a little chance, we, we should do it. Absolutely, yes. I was uh, able to watch some of the broadcasts, live broadcasts, last month and you know i was uh, it was it was incredible to see that it's really in novosibirsk and, and in krasnoyarsk i think you performed and there there's so much interest and there's a still live concert which everyone is missing around and i was so happy to see yes that. In, in russia is a full swing is a it's a lot of concert of course with the with the you know, in the Reduce. theaters in Moscow, for example, you, you, you can only sit 25% of public. In other cities, uh, it varies between 25 to 50. Some places, uh, I think, even, even do 100, uh, which is, uh, I, I think, is, you know, I think is, is great, is wonderful, because, uh, you know, if, if we, we close the the concert halls, then one should close the underground, the buses, all the transport and <laughs> everything else as well, which is a much more dangerous place as a concert hall where public comes, everybody with masks and every everyone is taking extra care of how to behave. And uh, so by following these simple uh, advices, I think the the, the situation still with live music uh, is uh, very pleasant because uh, when there is no entertainment, so to say entertainment in classical music, yeah, it's partly entertainment anyway. Uh, it's uh, very difficult to, to live productive life, I think, for everybody. And uh, if you, to, to again, uh, logically and to find this golden middle between extra dangerous and shut down, uh, I think we are in search of it. Absolutely, and I think you know you also live by the ex example that we still have a bright future, and then you have so many plans for the festival. You know, you bring good friends, your partners, and uh, you play chamber music. You make uh, new commissions for uh, wonderful music last year I yeah we, ha we have now an incredible uh, roster of, of wonderful uh, pieces for violin and orchestra and orchestra uh, by Sofia Gubaidulina, Arvo Piart, uh, Lera Auerbach, uh, Benny Benjamin Yusupov and uh, Raskatov and uh, many many great pieces that uh, been created because of us because of festival so that that's something historic about this festival which i'm really proud of absolutely and we, we use also a lot of um uh, you know youth youth orientated projects uh you know it started all as a little master classes of every guest artist who who come to visit who come to play for the festival and we would ask politely you know spend a couple of hours it was with, with our next generation uh you know starts to be soon uh, and it's been always successful. You know, we have audiences of until 500 people to watch master classes come live to see. And now it, it turned out to be almost a full year experience for young kids when we invite through the year wonderful teachers, uh, professors, and uh, they stay for sometimes 12 days or two weeks and 
not to give a master class but master course uh when you know during you know two weeks you can really make a great progress and uh then we ask the teachers to give us their favorites and uh, when when we have this uh we schedule concerts together with the best of uh you know the best of uh, young players who took part in this yeah it's it's wonderful it's wonderful and i know how much you enjoy chamber music and collaborating with uh, uh, very talented young musicians so i think it makes a great again great example how music is important and uh, how it's, education is important so when you bring this world renowned musicians with you to siberia and all around the world because festival been traveling actually to different part of yeah the world. we had uh, many yeah exciting places as well some some uh, projects that been created for the festival uh, they attract some attention and we are happy to show them outside siberia outside russia even quite often so we're very very happy about this